Hi, welcome to another episode of How to Do Atkins Low Carb. My name is, of course, Kent Holtema, and I'd like to thank everyone who participated in the How to Atkins Diet TV show that we did on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I plan on redoing that every single week, so hopefully the next week more people can even join us. At one point, we had 10 to 15 viewers of the show, and I was really happy and pleased with the participation that we saw. So thank you once again for participating and watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who showed up. Today's episode has to do with planning and what to do in an emergency in a, in a low-carb Atkins diet emergency. The number one thing to do on an Atkins diet is to plan. Plan for what you're going to do and what you're going to eat in advance. Plan what your response is going to be for temptation when your spouse hadn't watched my video and offers you that piece of uh, pie of cake and says this little piece won't help you or that co-worker that well-meaning co-worker um, offers you a dessert treat and wants you to eat a piece plan what your response is going to be for when you go out to eat with a friend and they take you to a restaurant that may or may not have that low carb menu that you want what's your response going to be in advance you may make a better decision if you're like me if you're called to make a decision on the spur of a moment you're more than likely going to make have a 50-50 shot at making the wrong decision. Well, if you plan in advance, you can work through all the permutations in your mind and understand what that means for you. Can you remember every single vegetable that's on the Atkins acceptable foods list at will? I just got a comment this week. What do you do at a dinner party when there's a dessert stuck in front of you everywhere you look? What do you do when someone invites you to that restaurant like I spoke of? Well, here's where this Atkins diet or low carb emergency kit comes in. And what's in it? Why do you want one in the first place? Well, the reason you'd want one is to give you an out, to give to have something in your possession that one either reinforces what you're doing, reinforces the low carb lifestyle and gets you um, back in the frame of mind where you can resist the temptation, and two, gives you the tools that you need to get you out of that bad situation. So what does a low-carb emergency kit look like? Well, for me, it's a small cooler that works really well, and it contains some shelf-stable things to keep them hot or cool in the environment that you want to um, keep them in, whether it be inside your coat or in your car. It has to be shelf-stable, like I said, because it may need to sit in there for a couple days, as not every day are you going to be facing emergency, hopefully. Well, what's in there in the way of food? In my case, why you would want food in there is in the case that you know you got stuck at, at work, you couldn't make a normal lunch, and all you have to face is either going to the vending machines, which more than likely only have carts, um, carb-friendly chips, cookies, and candy bars, and you can't get away for lunch. Well, what's in there in the way of food? Beef sticks. There are a number of good brand of beef sticks that don't necessarily have the corn syrup or the sugar involved that some of the other brands do. One of the really good brands I, I have found is Old Wisconsin brand. I'm not sure if that's widely available or not, but if you look for it, find one that doesn't have corn syrup in the ingredients list and you should be fine. Another one, summer sausage. Summer sausage, after it's been cut, is not very shelf stable as it re um, recommends to be refrigerated. However, before it's been cut, you know, it's shelf stable for many months. So buy a little tube, a three to four ounce slice of it, and you can cut that up. Um, you may also want to make sure that you keep a plastic knife in with it so that you can indeed cut it up on the will. Uh, nuts. Nuts are one of these foods that are very, very likely to lead you in temptation and to having too much. That, therefore, when I suggest you have nuts, I, I suggest that you'd have some almonds or some mixed nuts that are put into one ounce packages that you can easily throw into the bag and therefore thereby guarantee that you're not going to have too much. Another one, pork rinds. If you like them or st can stomach them, they're a great um, shelf stable food that can last for many um, days inside a sealed um, Ziploc bag. Shelf stable string cheese packs, another good source of uh, low carb craving suppressing food. One more, uh, this is more a shorter term one, uh, salad. And make sure you have a salad dressing pack that comes like from one of the restaurants in town. Should be cold enough within a pack to last for a few days 
and you can keep that with you. A uh, protein shake inside of a measuring glass, another option. Uh, make sure you have a very low carb. Uh, I, I prefer IsoPure zero carb uh, protein shake, but there are other good ones out there. Or here's another one, flat seed granola. Uh, there are uh, there's some recipes out there for um, making your own granola low carb. And life does not exist on just low carbing food alone. All the food in the world isn't necessarily going, going to tell you how to turn down that temptation or whether or that, not that temptation is actually illegal or not. Well, in this emergency pack, I would also suggest you have some non-food items. Some of these non-food items might be a picture of your before, your before photo. Here's the photo that you don't want to be again. It's that whole negative motivation that I talked about in one of, in one of my videos. It's the, uh, where don't you want to be? Where don't you want to return to at, if you make that wrong decision point? It's either go to goal or go back here. Here's, an, here's another one, the positive motivation. Why are you losing weight? Write those down. Just the simple fact of looking at that thing and having invested that time to list down your goals and what the activity is that you want to do at goal that you can't possibly do where you currently are today. I don't know, is that get married? Is that that new outfit? Is that go on a trip? Is that whatever it might be? Make sure you write that down and have that in front of you so that when that temptation comes, you can pull it out as well as understand, evaluate it. Is this temptation worth not getting here? Is it worth returning to that before photo? For me, that made the decision point awful cl awfully clear in some of those po decision points. Even when I've gone to a conference and there hasn't been a food item available for me, I can look at what I, why I'm indeed losing the weight. If just simply remembering it is enough, I can look at that piece of paper and that those goals that I've listed down and also write that note to you. You don't need to. This temporary satisfaction, this temporary glorification or gratification is how you got there in the first place. Seek the more permanent results, not the, not the temporary results. And finally, um, put on a copy of the Acton's induction food list. Understand what's acceptable and what's not. Maybe they have some cream cheese that you could eat with some fruit. And as long as you knew that was acceptable on your side of the plan, maybe that's the best choice that you can have. It's make the best of a bad situation. So having those things in mind is going to make you just that much more of a successful low carber in the future. Again, like one of my one of my favorite sayings is failing to plan is planning to fail. If you don't make the plans up front on how to counteract all these negative influences that sit in our society, it's going to make you that much more likely to res, um, return to your former goal weight. Recidivism is way too high the way it is. Why don't you stack the deck in your favor rather than in someone else's favor? Well, thank you again for watching this episode of How to Do Atkins Low Carb. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you come and join me on Thursday nights. Thank you very much.